everyone welcome back to my channel Ardell's Kitchen guys this morning I'm here and um to bring you another um dish guys and I would be making some conky now um I just returned from Guyana from vacation and this is something that we ate a lot in Guyana my daughters really loved it so I just thought you know what let me make some for my channel because I don't think I've got a, I've got a video of conky and I remember as a child growing up, my granny used to make this a lot for us, you know. And it's something that I really love. So I just thought, let me make some. So uh, I've got the ingredients for you guys. And I will take you through the ingredients the ingredients that I will be using today for this conky. Okay. Okay. Um, I've got the ingredients that I would be using here, guys. So, um... I've got some um, black pepper, a little butter, I've got some condensed milk, some freshly grated nutmeg, um, sugar, some coconut flakes, um, I've got some cornmeal, this is the fine, very fine cornmeal. Um, there guys, I've got some um, vanilla essence, I've got some cinnamon, and I've got my pumpkin there guys, you know, finely grated. And here, guys, I've got my banana leaves. Now, I had to lift, move heaven and heart to find these banana leaves. And someone told me to go into one of the Asia, Asian um, food stores. And there it was. It was all frozen. So what I did, I defrost them. Um, I washed them and packed them dry and um, softened them up a bit. I passed them over the um, hot flames and softened them up a bit. So they're all ready. Yeah, they all soft and nice to wrap my um my conky. So guys, I'll take you through the next step. Now in my little bowl here, guys, I'm gonna add my pumpkin, and as you can see, my pumpkin is really dry. It's grated, finely grated, and it's really dry. There's not much liquid or water in there that come directly from the pumpkin. Yeah. So I'll have to help this along with some milk, which is going to give it really good taste. Yeah, next guys, I'm going to add my um, cornmeal, add a little cornmeal to the pumpkin. And I'm going to mix it in really well. Making sure that everything is well incorporated. And add my coconut flakes um i could never get a, a fresh coconut that is good by they're always rotten rotten or something that's not really good so i normally just stick to the coconut flakes i just put you know anything i'm making i just stick with coconut flakes you know it do, does the job as well but um Trust me, the um freshly the fresh um coconut always works best. But you know you just have to work with what you have. Um, next time I'm gonna add some butter. I'm gonna add my black pepper. I'm gonna mix well, make sure everything is mixed in well. Okay, I'm gonna go on now to add the rest of the ingredients. Um, Going in with my freshly grated nutmeg, a little cinnamon. All of this is optional, you know. Give it taste and flavor. Add my vanilla extract. A little sugar guys I'm 
on my condensed milk. I think I may have to add a little bit more milk, guys. But that's absolutely fine. And I'm going to taste to make sure that everything is on point. Okay, guys. So now I've got my banana leaf here, guys. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fill them in. I'm not going to make them too big. That's a small amount. And I'm going to go on now to wrap them up and fold them. Maybe the leaves are too big. I don't know. But um, I'll have a really try at folding and wrapping this i'm not very good at folding and wrapping and guys and tying you can forget it so what i decided to do is to improvise and i using this is not the traditional way but hey this is my way and i decided to put my Place it in um in one of these foil and wrap it. And trust me, it will do the job. I'm seeing them do it in Guyana. If they don't have the string, and wrap it up like this. And this is how I would be doing mine today. Okay. I'm not very very good at tying. I'm not gonna pretend. So this is my way. Of wrapping it up okay so guys I'm gonna go on and do one more and show you and then carry on until I'm done okay here I've got my um my banana leaf again and I'm gonna go ahead and put just a small amount on my leaf like that and then wrap it up fold it in well And then I go on to fold it over like this, fold it over like so, and there you got it. And then I get a piece of my foil and I wrap it up well in my foil. And this will do the trick. Fold it over. Fold it over. And there you got it, guys. And everything is well sealed in there. Okay, so I'm going to carry on until I'm done. Okay, guys, um, I decided to go ahead and improvise. So this is the only way I could tie tie up my conky. Okay, now I've got my butcher's twine. I had to wrap it in foil paper and I said, let me have a go. I'm not very good at tying, but I thought, let me have a go. And this is what I decided to do. This is my way now. So don't, please don't judge me. Yeah. This is the only way I could think of that I could tie my kanki up perfect by wrapping them in the foil paper. And then I turn it over like that. It's slipping everywhere, but I'm having a go. And I 
my car here. Yeah, I hope you guys could see that. Then I give it a look. Hey, I love tight. Look at that guy. Yeah, so this is my way of tying up my kanki. So guys, I'm going to go on and I'm going to do the rest. I finish tying up the rest and then I'll come back and take you through the next step. Do one more. I'll do one more and show you guys how I decided to tie it like so you cross it over like so you draw it not too tight then I flip it over and I come over the back like so and I draw it then give it another time and there you go guys there you got it so i'll carry on okay guys i've got a pot here on my cocoa with some water boiling so i'm gonna go ahead now and i'm gonna lower my conkeys them inside of this water and let them boil and steam guys for about 30 to 35 minutes and then we'll come back and i'll show you the finished product Okay. All right. So I'm going to cover them, guys, and I'm going to let them go. And then I'll come back and show you the finished product. Okay, guys. This is the finished product, guys, of my conky, guys. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. Please like, share, and subscribe. All the measurements and ingredients will be down in my description box. If you're new to my channel, you're welcome. Please hit the subscription button and the little notification bell so you would be notified whenever I upload a video. Thank you for all your support, guys. And guys, as you could see, I open up one. And I leave up left it in the leaf so you could see what it looks like when it's cooked and in the leaf, guys. And this is what it looks like and it come out beautifully. I'm so proud of myself. So I'm gonna go ahead now, guys, and I'm going to taste my conky. I'm gonna taste it and tell you guys what it tastes like. I'm so proud of it. Oh my god, mm. <laughs> all those flavors coming through. Oh my god, you could taste all the grated nutmeg, the cinnamon, all the black pepper. Mm. Guys, I could show you, I can assure you, the condensed milk gives it, take it up to another level. You know, this is really good. Oh god, just the right texture, the nice, the right sweetness everything delicious anyway guys if you like my video please like share and comment it would really help my channel thank you again once again for your support and i'll see you in my next one thank you bye